What are the rules, simply speaking, when it comes to putting Conyers together? Well, we will specify specifically green cheek Conyers if that's your main goal because I had a couple questions on that. Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapolis Bond and the new book, Get to Know African Grey and Kate Parrots. I am here to help you increase your bond with your parrot. Make sure that if you put a couple Conyers together, they're gonna be safe, happy, and have no problems. Hopefully reducing any problems, the need to rehome or to surrender your parrot to rescue. That there is Rosie, our new green wing macaw that we recently added to our fl flock. There you could see a pair of kaiks and is he still there? Oh, and there's ah. Ale, my white cat pionis. Let's talk about green cheek conyers. Green cheek conyers are awesome. A little bitey, especially when they're young. You got to get past, past that. But green cheek conyers are awesome because they are affectionate and our experience has been across the board. They are still affectionate, whether Rosie's talking or when there's two of them in a cage or even more. So what are the rules to putting green cheek conyers together? Rule number one, you can actually put them with other Puria conyers. That's going to be like a crimson bellied conure, a black cap conure. They're similar size and they are in the same genus. Number two, you cannot put a baby with an adult. It's, if you've watched nature channels, I want you to think of lions who kill not their babies, but other lionesses, baby or other lions, cubs. It's like a survival thing. You can't put green cheek conures with babies. If it's their own baby, you didn't put them together. They hatch that way. If it's a different baby, if you're putting two together, it won't work. Let's say they're in separate cages and you're putting them out in a common area to play together to watch them interact. No problem, but really make sure you're there, really make sure you're watching because it's not unlikely that the older one might be mean to the younger one. First of all, there's some pecking order being established. And second of all, once the pecking order is established, when the older one figures out that this is a younger one, eh, you never know how that's gonna go. So rule number two, generally speaking, we want them to both be either young or both be adults. Rule number three, for each conure you add to a cage, you want to exponentially make the cage a little bigger. So when you look up the minimum size cage for a green cheek conure, Rosie, you're swinging. I love that. Um, well, I want you to keep in mind that when you add another conure, the cage needs to get bigger. I don't have a mathematical formula for you for that, just bigger. And if you had a third conure or a fourth conure or a fifth conure, I don't think you're necessarily going to have a problem with adding them, especially if they're young. We'll have another rule if they're older, but you're going to have to increase the space with each conure. In other words, it's like us. We don't all want to live in a sardine tuna can. We all want some space. So, if you're gonna have several families, for example, in an apartment building, you need to make the apartment building with more apartments. And it doesn't mean, you know, that you put them all in the same apartment, right? You give them all more space. Not a new cage, but in other words, the cage has to really accommodate more space. My rule is that whenever I have more than like, a pair is one thing. The minute I have three or more green cheek conures or puria conures in a cage, I can have one water, but my rule is, I start to have more than one feeding station so that no one owns a station and says, this is my territory. Now we've got more than one place and that way hopefully everyone can happily eat and not have a problem. Now, um, if you are putting several conures together, one of the things that you want to do is make sure that they get along. When they're out in a common space, you would make sure that they get along. If you're going to like go to the store and, five, and buy five conures, Hopefully they're all young babies. They will very likely get along, but you'll have to keep your eye on them. If you get five adults and you're gonna put them together, they will unlikely get along. They could get along. When they all go into the new cage, they might all be like, where am I? What's going on? And it's possible that no one will claim the territory and they will get along. In case they don't, sometimes you have to put them uh, cage by cage or in a cage that has two sides with a divider in the middle so that no one gets hurt and everyone has their own space as they get to know each other. Yes, 
like you and I, they don't want to be thrown into a communal living situation without at least getting to know their roommates kind of thing. They really do want some of their own space while they get to know their roommates when they are older. Again, babies is a little different. I hope that really helps um, so that if you're putting Conyers together, you have some really good ideas as to how to do it successfully. Don't forget the babies, they can go with the adults, but usually you, you really have to wait for them to get older so that everyone is safe and everyone gets to know each other. The baby gets a chance to develop their own personality, get to know you know themselves, their body, get to be a little Conyer person before they are placed with another Conyer. On a very rare um, occasion, um, two Conyers won't get along. I haven't experienced, no, I have. Oh, okay. Uh, it does happen sometimes, it's not common, but for that reason, you should always be prepared to keep separate cages if needed, because you never know. If a toe is getting bit, that's your sign that there's trouble. I hope this helped. Uh, make sure that you check out my group at parapolis.com. You can be a member, get an extra video every week, and join us on Discord. And if you want some awesome parrot merch, visit shop.parapolis.com. Catch you next time.